Have you ever noticed THX or IMAX certification labels on any of your audio or visual products? I'm pretty sure you must have. For instance, you would see TVs mentioning THX displays. You will see some of the home theater speakers having THX standards or you will have some modern day AV receivers which we have seen probably in the last 2-3 years having IMAX enhanced as a certification. Now if these are some of the certifications that you have already seen and you are wondering what do these mean and how do they really impact your home theater experience, well that is exactly what we are going to talk about in this video. Now before we understand these certifications, what do they mean, let us also try to understand their history. So the first history that we are going to talk about is the THX history. Now THX history is very very exciting because there were two sound engineers, George Lucas and Tom Linson Holman. Now both of these engineers were given a task to enrich the sound quality and experience of Star Wars. Now way back in 1980s, Star Wars was a super hit and I am pretty sure even right now we have crazy fans for Star Wars. Now there was this special episode of Star Wars which was written of the Jedi which they wanted to accurately reproduce the sound experience in the theatres. And that is when these two engineers started creating some sound experiment. And this experiment actually helped them achieve the fantastic results which THX today stands for. So THX is actually an acronym for Tom Linson Holman's experiment. Now this was started way back in 1983 but today we can see their speakers, we can see their visual products, we can even say their car stereo speakers or even headphones and soundbars. So THX today has literally become a good name or a very very premium name in the audio and video standards especially covering most of your home and personal entertainment. Now let us look at IMAX. IMAX whereas it has got more standing towards the video part, right? Now we all know Christopher Nolan does nothing but IMAX. Like we all know for that. Even Marvel movies, all IMAX. Now the reason why IMAX is created as a separate standard because IMAX, as the name says, it is Image Maximum, IMAX. Now Image Maximum is nothing but giving you a larger than life cinema experience and that is what IMAX certification stands for. But over a period of time, they have also diversified not just from the video standards but they created their own audio standards and today IMAX works proudly with DTSX or DTS to create this IMAX enhanced certification and this we can see right from their image products that is the display products to their audio products to the applications or content that they are creating today. So that is the wide gamut that the IMAX enhanced certification can provide you with today. Now let us understand the impact of each of these certifications and the first one that we are going to start with is obviously the THX. Now THX has got multiple things that they cover in the certification. The first one is the studio reference level. So THX reference level is nothing but the zero in the volume dial of a THX certified product. It actually starts representing the THX reference level and this is actually the exact volume level used by sound artists and movie makers in the studio to produce this content. Second thing what you get with THX certification is the smooth off axis response. Now in a very very simple language if I have to tell you, a smooth off axis response means that even if you are using this THX certified product in your bigger room, it will be able to give you not just one sweet spot but you will get multiple sweet spots because they claim to give a maximum coverage of a good cinematic experience on each and every seat of your home theatre. Now I know some would say that can I use it in my living room and can I get the same experience in my dining table? Not. You have to be in the same sound envelope to get that THX surround sound immersive experience and that is what they mean by the smooth off axis response. Now the third thing what THX stands for as a certification is for the speaker manufacturers. Lot of speaker companies today are releasing products that are THX certified. Now these speakers go through rigorous amount of testing, especially about their frequency levels, distortion, signal to noise ratio as well as their output levels. Overall, what they want you to do is that this speaker brands needs to provide the exact same clarity of the sound as it was recorded in the studio and that is the end output of the THX speaker testing. And the fourth one is the THX video standard. Now this THX video standard honestly there is one app which if you are an iOS user and you, if you have Apple TV in your home theater I would like you to do is just download the THX tune up display and follow the entire procedure. 
I am pretty sure you will come back to me with some amazing video experience that you will now get from your projector or from your team. Well, this is exactly what THX tries to achieve in the video segment as well, wherein they try to fine tune the brightness settings, contrast settings, the tint, sharpness, saturation, everything to get the best out of your video displays. That is the THX video promise. Now let us start with the IMAX certification standard. Now obviously, as we mentioned at the start, IMAX is all about the image. But guess what? If you visit any IMAX certified commercial cinema hall, you would realize that it's not just about picture quality, it is also about the audio setting. Now the entire IMAX series of chains that you see all across various cities. Now in these screens, you will see that it's not a normal cinema scope screen. The screen height is far more higher because IMAX believes in larger screen size. Second thing what you also get is most of the times nowadays IMAX screens have been curved screens to give a much more better experience because they try to work around with your eyeball wherein they feel that the corner of the screen is going to be farther off than the center of the screen. So to achieve a equivalent response from the video and to your eyes, they believe in curved screens and that is also something which you will always see in a commercial cinema hall. Apart from that optimized setting, the sound distribution and the DTS support for IMAX is still very strong in the commercial cinema halls. Okay, now if this was about commercial cinema halls, how does IMAX Enhanced gives a better result in your AV receivers? Now for instance, when you go for IMAX Enhanced settings in your AV receiver or if you go for IMAX Enhanced overall as a product in your home theater, you will always get better impact in terms of the video as well as the audio. But to achieve all of this, first of all, the content has to be IMAX certified so that you can start enjoying it using the IMAX enhanced feature. Now for this, Disney Plus Hotstar or only Disney Plus apps have already got the features wherein you can use them and exploit their Marvel, DC, Top Gun, those kind of content, which is all IMAX certified content. And you can enjoy them properly in your AV receivers and home theaters, which are again IMAX certified. So content here plays the very, very important role, especially for IMAX enhanced output. So I would say IMAX enhanced in a very, very simple language is more like an audio language that needs to be part of your home theater experience. Now, if you have shopped for any of the IMAX or THX certified products and seen any difference compared to the normal ones, let me know your feedback in the comments below. And I, Tanmay Mehta, your home cinema consultant or home theater wale bhaiya, will be sharing in the next video some of the amazing THX certified speakers that we rely on, especially while designing our home theater systems. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again in the next video. Thank you so much.